Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Sony XB33. If you have been watching my other videos, you know that I have the Sony XB31. Now, this is an amazing device, you know, it sounds great, and quite frankly, is a really great speaker. And due to the pandemic, I haven't been doing any, any kind of videos, you know, a bunch of, like, school stuff, all that kind of stuff. And you know what, as soon as I, when I was walking around in Walmart, I saw this speaker for sale. And I said, you know what? Let me do a let me do another unboxing and review, so my channel doesn't seem dead. And also because you know this is a new product and I really want to do it. So today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Sony XB33. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right. So the number one thing you notice is the box. So quite on the front we have the Sony Extra Base 24 Hours SRS XB33, and you have some nice art. Just like that. Then you have some side art on the side. And you have some other side art. Then you have the back of the box. So let's just do a quick read of the specs. IP67 waterproof rating. So it's waterproof, dustproof, shockproof, and rustproof. Salt water resistant. Live sound mode. Party connect up to 100. USB type C. Which is a really nice addition. X balance speaker unit, long battery life up to 24 hours, stereo pair, speakerphone, voice assist function, and USB power port, and USB power port, which is basically just a power bank. And that's pretty much the box. It just has a bunch of music center and download on the on the app on the app store and all of that. So without further ado, again, let's get straight into the box. Again, I said that two times. <laughs> Open the top. Boom, bam, bop. And look at this beauty. Ooh, that looks nice. My speaker. I'm moving that onto the side. You know, we just have this cardboard piece. We have, uh, we have this piece of paper. It just says, you know, how to. This is the instructions manual. We have some more pieces of paper, you know, more instructions manuals. And we have the USB Type-C charger, which is great. Just like that. So let's put that over there. Now, that's it for the box. Nice high-quality box. And for the main reason you're clicking on this video, the speaker. Let's just put this. The speaker. So the first things I notice is that it looks great. It's uh, quite larger than the than the XP31, the XP33, XP31. Also, it um, like kind of like in JBL style, it has two passive radiators, which should make it um, a lot more prone to bass. So the XP31, you know, was pretty good at bass, but it couldn't handle it that well. So I think this year's model should be able to, you know, provide some nice clean bass for us. Passive radiators. It has a bunch of buttons on the top, which we will briefly read through. So it has the power on button and the charge indicator. So if the thing is charging, it will just indicate that. It has a separate Bluetooth button, which the previous models did not have. It has a um, pause and play button. It has a volume down, volume up, and a live button, which I don't think the previous models had. It also has, uh, it also has the uh, stamina indicator, which basically is how you get 24 hours off this thing. You know, you turn off the lights, you turn on the stamina mode. It's not going to sound as great, but, you know, it's going to last you 24 hours. And you have the NFC, uh, the NFC, you know, thing. So you just, you know, with your phone, just do that. And on the back here, we have a, we have all of the uh, ports and stuff. Alright, so there's the DC out, which is, which this speaker, quite frankly, serves as a power bank as well. So if you, if your battery is, if your phone battery is running low... You know, you could just take your phone, put your phone charger, and just charge it up. You have a USB Type-C. You have a USB Type-C port, which is way better than the other ones because it would always... Um, because last year and the... Pre because in the previous models, it always had the uh, micro USB, and which doesn't charge as fast as the USB Type-C. You have the battery button, which if you press it once, it will indicate the... Uh, it will indicate how much battery you have, and if you press and hold, it will... It'll turn off lights or turn on the lights. You have the party mode. 
and the ST pair mode, which basically just do, you know, you can connect the, you can connect the speaker with a bunch of other, you know, 2020 model so Sony speakers, you know, up to 100, which is great. And that's pretty much the back of the speaker. I'll just give you guys... Oh, right there. Quality-wise, this thing feels really nice. Um, like the XB31, it has the uh, fabric mesh kind of thing um, all over it. And on the where the passive radiators are located, you have the beautiful looking LED lights. You have the beautiful looking LED lights and um, some nice rubber with this awesome design on the side. We have a bunch of polka dot kind of things. And the passive radiator with the Sony logo on it. The and we're gonna be saying if the thirty three is worth the one hundred fifty dollar price tag, or we should just stick with the ninety dollar thirty one. So let's just connect both of these onto their designated owners. All right, so the first music test will be the bass test. You know, this thing has the new passive radiator, so the only logical option would be to test the bass first. All right, so the SB, sorry, the SRS XB33. Max volume. There's are vibrating like crazy. All right, so let's play the XB31, and we're gonna be seeing the real money maker here. Right off the bat, I just noticed that the the 31 is like way louder when it's playing bass. Wow, um, as you can easily tell, the XP31 just was way louder. Alright, so in, in conclusion, both of these products are great. Both of them sound nice. Both of them sound nice. The XP33, of course, sounds you know a little bit cleaner. It's a newer model, has passive radiators. So if you want to listen to a lot more bass, you know, this thing can handle it a lot better. But if you just want, in general, a louder speaker that pretty much has almost the same stats, and you're not going to be listening to, like, you know, super bass-boosted songs, then the XP31 is a great way to go. Because it only costs $90, it pretty much offers the same things, the lights still are great, and, you know, it's a great party speaker as well. And it's louder, like, of course. So, those are my opinions on both of them. Great speaker. If you want to save some money, definitely go check out the XP31. So, thank you guys so much for watching. You know, please like and subscribe, all the usual. And I will be having links for all these products in the description. You know, if you want to buy any of them, you could just use my links. You know, a lot faster, just easily. You know, all of that. I I do all the uh, I do all the work to find all the links and like that. All right. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will be having a lot more, uh, I'll be having bigger speaker reviews, you know, showing the box here, bigger speaker reviews coming up, so stay tuned for that, and I'm out.